Today in Southern labor history, we remember the Mead packaging strike of 1972 in Atlanta, Georgia. On August 18, 1972, 250 mostly black workers walked off the job at Mead corporations to protest the racist treatment and poor working conditions that they endured from management. But this wasn't just any strike, this was a wildcat strike. A wildcat strike is a strike organized by workers without authorization. The workers at Mead felt a wildcat strike was their only option, stating that their union was favoring white workers. This strike was led by rank-and-file union members as well as many others. The workers themselves elected representatives and committees to develop their demands. The strike gained huge popularity at Mead with 75% of workers joining the strike. The union, however, allied with the company in an attempt to break the strike. But the organizing workers began organizing the larger black community in the South. Groups like the Southern Christian Leadership Conference materially supported the striking workers. After seven weeks of striking and organizing, the workers forced the union to represent their demands to Mead. And as a result of their organizing, Mead corporations promised to create safer working conditions and disciplined supervisors who used racist language. The Mead packaging strike is a good example of the ways that economic and racial justice go hand in hand. There's no room in the union movement for white supremacy or unions that only represent white workers. 